Hello beautiful Aquarius, you versus them. We're here to look at your feelings and where you're at in the relationship versus your person's feelings. So let's look and see what Aquarius and love has going on at this time. All right, your recent energy in the past was Nine of Wands. Okay, fire in your belly, willing to fight for the relationship, not going anywhere. Feeling as though you've progressed nicely. Let's see, you're willing to work hard. Your person is feeling four of wands. Look at that. Stability. That's a honeymoon card. That's also a marriage card in the Rider Weight deck. Really speaks to the fact that you're building a foundation, that you're very, you have a lot of fun together, that you want the relationship. And that is Aries energy. So we have Aries and Sagittarius energy here. So let's see what else we have for you, Aquarius. What is your energy currently in your love life? Three of Pentacles, that is a card of partnership and collaboration, creating something greater than yourself. There's you, me, and we. So it's a great card for relationships because it's sort of like, well, let's plan our vacation. Let's go to the paint store. You know, what are we going to do next week, next year? What are we going to do in our lives together? Your person is in this energy of scoping things out. They're doing some research. And I'm getting that it looks as though for some of them, they might be in therapy or they might be researching how to make relationships better, which is collaborative. Because look at this beautiful energy, the high, you know, we see the Empress card. So your person really wants to understand how they feel more. They want to understand more about relationships. <laughs> you might be dealing with a Pisces, but I really, it's gorgeous energy because while you're here saying, well, let's make plans, your person is over here going, okay, you know, let's let's make plans. And But the, what they're really looking at is this Pisces energy, you know. How do I feel? Where am I at? Um, you know, what don't I understand? What do I need to learn to make my myself better for my beautiful Capricorn. Okay, I like the energy. Okay, so let's see what the energy is in terms of how you view things going forward. How do you view the situation going forward, Capricorn? How do you view it going forward? All right, Six of Cups. You know, you're really very much, you might be, you might have been apart for a little while because I'm getting Six of Cups would be the desire for reunion, but it doesn't have to be being apart. It really just means that your person has sweet memories of you. You know, that you have sweet memories of them. That going forward, the way you view the relationship right now, King of Cups, there we go, Scorpio King. Very emotional King. So Aquarius, you see this as a lovely relationship in which you have great love for your person. You view the situation going forward as stable. You view yourself in it to win it. You have a good partnership. You can work through things. Even when things get very emotional, you're very supportive of one another uh, from your partner's perspective also. All right, and how does your person view the situation moving forward? Or how they view the situation currently, sorry. How does your person view the situation currently between the two of you? The Five of Wands, well, they feel fired up about something. They feel as though you have a disagreement um, that you need to work through, and it's about a decision you need to make as a couple. Okay, let's see, how serious is this? Is this going to be a problem? Nope. Uh -uh. Nice. Capricorn, we get the strength card, Leo energy. This is Leo energy. So you may be having a lively, feisty debate <laughs> over making a decision like, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? So I love it. It's There's so much stability here, though, for the two of you. Capricorn. That's what I'm really getting, that the two of you are stable together. That even when you have disagreements, even sometimes when you feel like somebody pulls back, uh, the relationship is rock solid. The Empress card is all about manifestation. So both of you are very strong in this relationship. 
All right, so Aquarius, what do we see in terms of how you view your person? The Knight of Swords, sometimes you think that they may overreact to things. The Four of Cups, sometimes you think they take too much to heart. You sometimes feel as though you have to be a little protective over them. Let's see how they view you currently. How does your person view you? There's a lot of love, though. You know, Four of Cups. Look at you're protecting this person with an umbrella, and they don't necessarily see it. So Capricorn, very sweet energy. It is Cancerian energy, your seventh house of marriage. Oh, look at this. Your person feels as though the two of you are very successful together. They feel as though the two of you have just come through a period of completion, that you're leveling up, you're going into something that's even bigger, more successful, very lovely energy. But it is a world card. It is Aquarius and Saturn energy. So being very serious about the relationship. So how do you feel in your heart space? Well, you're really much, you're very much at peace. Two of Swords is a card that means that you don't have to look at this. You have all the confidence in the world that the two of you are fine. You have this beautiful little, you know, bird's nest and the two of you are in it. So you don't think there's really anything you have to think about. There's nothing you have to decide. You feel as though the status quo is, you know, you're very content with it. You're very much feeling at home. You feel like you want to nurture the status quo. I get in your heart space that, you know, the Two of Swords is not really making a decision or not really doing anything. But when we look at those two birds, you just are very happy with the status quo. There's no need to take action. Your person's feeling very balanced in their energy. Whoops, that was the wrong card. You're feeling very balanced in your energy. And let's see how your person's feeling in their heart space. To me, this looks as though you've already decided that you'd like to marry if you're not currently married. And so you're very much at peace. There's no decision to make. You've already made the decision. So let's see how your person feels in their heart space about you. What is the heart space feeling that Capricorn's lover has about them? Well, they feel as though you are in control. Now, the devil energy is Capricorn energy, but sometimes they feel as though you... Um, mm, devil energy is they feel like that you like to be in charge. That you like to be the person who's pulling the strings and making things happen. We have Capricorn energy for them. So they absolutely love you. They're not going anywhere. But sometimes they feel as though they don't have quite as much say in the relationship. I said Capricorn. This is Aquarius. So I want to make sure that you know I'm doing the Aquarius reading. This is Capricorn energy, both of these cards. I do think that the, most of you probably have Capricorn in your chart somewhere. Venus you know, could be Mercury, but there's a very, what I like about this reading is there's a very grounded energy, which is earth sign and you're an air sign. So let's see what the hidden energy is between the two of you. What is the hidden energy between the two of you, Aquarius? Hidden energy between the two of you. From the Aquarius viewpoint, the star card. Aquarius, here you are in your own reading. You really feel like your person is a rock star. They're everything that you've ever wanted. You feel as though you will spend your life with them. You feel as though you're building, you've built a monument to your love for them. Beautiful. How are, what's the energy for them? Well, those fell out, so I'm taking them. So your energy for this person is sometimes they get overwhelmed with emotion and they can't deal with it. I feel as though when they get overwhelmed emotionally, um, they really, it's almost like they can't deal with it. They have to take a time out. They feel as though they have to like walk away. Tell us something about this Ten of Swords card spirit. What is this Ten of Swords card about? Why do they feel so overwhelmed sometimes that they feel maybe that there's a betrayal? What is that about? Let's see. Oh, your person really wants to have a bigger say. We see a page here. It's almost like you're the executive director of the relationship and you're the boss and they're not really getting to have a voice because from their perspective, we have a page, a page, and they kind of feel, they feel like you're in, they're in competition and getting heard. 
they feel as though you consider what they say but you make the decision and that's making them feel challenged in the relationship so that is something Capricorn that I would say that you should be careful about you need to address the fact that your person is much more emotional than you you know they feel as though sort of you're the boss of the world and they're not feeling like you're equal they feel as though they don't have as much say in the relationship all right what is spirit recommending that you do Capricorn what is spirit saying that you should do I also think for many of you there's an age difference a maturity difference but you're both very highly engaged. You both love each other. You both want to be with, with each other. But I would say your person's feeling some feelings of frustration. Five of Cups, you feel sad. Okay, so what you're, what, this is Spirit's advice to you. What this is saying is that you need to acknowledge that your person is not in the same energy as you. You need to pay attention. You can't just sort of glibly think, well, you know, I'm doing all the right things and I'll take care of them and I'll nurture them. Basically, it's saying don't be their mom, be their lover and give them equal say here. Don't make them feel sad because what's happening, Spirit's telling you, Capricorn, that your person's feeling unloved that you might owe them not necessarily an apology but you might you really need to address the fact that they feel left in the cold your person is feeling that they have fire in their belly sagittarius energy they're willing to do the work and that is what spirit is recommending you know that they have fire in their belly that's sagittarius energy so both of you need something to work on something according to spirit you know, you're, and Spirit is saying they need to stick up for themselves, really, to be able to defend their right in the relationship. Look at this. I love it. Okay. Your energy, your outcome is eat, drink, be merry, having a celebratory time in the near future, having a lot of passion. Um, we have Leo energy here, so it looks like the two of you really have. You make up, you kiss, you make up, you have fun, you make love. Look at, you're matching each other's energy now. Your person's coming in as a king of wands. You're the king of wands energy. Very fiery, very passionate. The chase is on. I really like it. And look at this, the ace of cups. So it does look like you mend the relationship um, you know, we, we really see the two of you acknowledging this through the advice of spirit and you come together, you put your heads together as equals, you really talk about how much you adore each other, how much you love each other, and you, you have a new beginning in love with a new understanding. I really like this energy. Aquarius, Aquarius, very grounded energy for you, Aquarius. It's your second house. Capricorn is everything that you value, so it's really strong in this reading. Let's see what Spirit has to say. A higher power. Oh, nice. You know, take the spiritual approach in this relationship. A new life, a new beginning, a new beginning in love, and observe your partner. Your partner does have a tendency to be melancholy, so you are helping them. You know, it can be a never-ending story. So they're very emotional is what I'm getting, Aquarius. I'm getting that, you know, uh, that this energy for your partner really does say that they take things to heart probably too much, that you don't really see things as, a, as big of a problem as they do. And so it does speak to the fact that you're not worried about it. That's what's great. That even though you feel as though they can get very dramatic, you stay very grounded here. You know, you are going to observe them more. I love that energy. And you have a new beginning in love. Loving you. Bye, Aquarius.